Hi, I'm Renee Darlene, and thanks for tapping in. Today we're going to tap for smoking cessation. But first, let's talk a little bit about the brain and addiction and how that works. You see, each time you have a thought or you generate a behavior, you create what's called a neural network or a pathway in the brain. And each time you generate that same behavior, the pathway gets bigger and stronger and bigger and stronger until eventually you've worn a pathway in the grass of your brain, so to speak. Now, the more you do this, you create patterns. And eventually, these patterns are so big and so well-worn in the brain that they flip themselves into your subconscious, and then it becomes habit, and eventually an addiction. So today, we're going to tap to help get you through some of those cravings and to really interrupt that signal to the brain. Now, each time you're doing this, the part of the brain that it dumps into is called the amygdala, and that's the fear center in the brain. And believe it or not, smoking and addiction have a lot to do with fear, fear and loss. So today as you tap, just go with me through the whole thing. Don't worry if you're doing it wrong or right. You can't do this wrong. You can't mess it up. You can tap with either hand. You can tap on each side of the face. You can do it together. Or you can just follow along with me. You don't even have to tap. You can just watch. So let's begin. Now in tapping, the first thing that we're going to do is we always start with this part called the karate chop. So let's just start here, and as we do, we tell our story. This is called the setup. So let's start, it would sound something like this. Even though I have this craving for smoking, I deeply and completely accept myself. This craving that I have for smoking, this smoking craving I have, these cigarettes that I wanna smoke, this craving for smoking, this craving, this craving I have. Even though I have this craving, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this craving, I deeply and completely accept myself. This craving for smoking. Even though I have this craving, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now take a deep breath in and let it out. What you've just done is called a sequence. So you would start with a setup, go through the sequence, and now we're going to do what's called the gamut. Now this is a nine step process that activates all areas of the brain. So we're going to turn everything on so our whole body is working together. So there's a little gully right here between your pinky finger and your ring finger. Just tap right here. So we start here, and what you'll do is close your eyes, open your eyes. Now keeping your head completely straight, you look down hard to the right. Look back straight. Look down hard to the left. Look back straight. Now roll your eyes in a big direction like you're looking at a clock and back the other way. Good. Now hum a little bit. <laughs> Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And hum again. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. What we've just done is called the gamut and it's activated all areas of the brain. Now we're going to do another sequence, another round for the tapping. Now interestingly enough, smoking has a lot to do with loss. So let's do a round about loss. We start by tapping on the karate chop point. Even though I feel this loss, I deeply and completely accept myself. This profound loss that I'm feeling, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this loss and it makes me want to smoke a cigarette, I deeply and completely accept myself. This loss that I'm feeling, this profound loss, this loss that I'm feeling, never having it my way losing the things that I love. The people around me, perhaps a job or a certain thing that you liked and it went away. And even though I've lost this, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this loss, I deeply and completely accept myself. Good, now take a deep breath in. Now we're gonna do another round just for the cravings. Again, we start with the karate chop. Even though I crave these cigarettes, even though this nicotine has created an addiction in my body, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I may not be able to quit smoking yet, I know that my body has an innate ability to heal itself, and I trust that my body will know what to do. And I deeply and completely accept myself. This craving for smoking, this feeling of loss, this craving for nicotine, this feeling of loss, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have a craving, I deeply and completely accept myself. 
I know the craving will leave when it's ready, and I deeply and completely accept myself. And even if I still continue to smoke, I know that I'm still a really good person, I'm lovable, and I'm worthy, and I deeply and completely accept myself. Now take a deep breath in. Thanks for joining, and hope to see you next time. Have a great day.